Here's a sneak peek at my new soap, Palo Santo. Hi soapy friends, it's Steph from Micahs and More. Here's the inspiration pick for my new soap, Palo Santo. Let's make soap! I'll start by adding the cooled lye water to my melted oils. The lye water has sugar, sodium lactate, and Tussa silk already added. My recipe includes lard, coconut, olive pomace, cocoa butter, and shea butter. I stick blend until it reaches an emulsion. I clean off my stick blender with my large spoonula. It's the perfect size for the batch that I do, which is three pounds of oils. And then I split it into three smaller batches. This is the second one that I've done today, and it had to sit a bit before I could get to it so you can see how thick it was. But with a little bit of stirring, it loosened right back up. I use my small spoonula for this part. It's my favorite soapy tool. And now I'll add the Palo Santo fragrance oil. It's a dupe of a popular scent. It has notes of Palo Santo wood, warm amber, soft musk, mild sage, vanilla, mint, citrus, and cedar. It is amazingly creamy, woodsy, and smooth. This scent was suggested to me by several of my customers, and I'm so glad I tried it, and I can't wait for it to be available for you. And now for some colors to represent the scent. This is copper mica, mixed in a little bit of oil. I'm using two smaller containers for the copper mica because I'd already allotted my larger cups for a different color. And this is silver graphite mica. I'm using it in two different concentrations to see how the look varies. I'm also using water dispersible titanium dioxide for this other portion. And some of the soap will be left plain so I can see how much the fragrance will discolor. Let's get this soap in the mold. I'm pouring down the center with my colors alternating. My original design idea was to drag the colors from the center to the top and the bottom, like I'd seen in some acrylic paint pours. But once I saw how the soap flowed into the mold, I thought that might not work well, so I went for a more simple design.
Once I added the remaining soap on top, I gave it a quick tap to try to get out any air bubbles. And then I designed the top with a toothpick. I'll put it in a box and under a blanket for about 24 hours. One last look before I put this one to bed. And here the next day the soap is ready to unmold. I have binder clips that hold the edges together of my DIY corrugated plastic mold. I have a video of that if you'd like to see it and I'll link it in the description box. You can see how easily the mold pulls away from the soap. It does that because I use sodium lactate in my recipe, but if you don't have that, you can use sea salt and it should work about the same. I'm using my acrylic ruler to score and cut the soap in half and then I'll use my wire cutter to cut it into individual bars. And here's the finished soap picks. I cleaned up the edges with a vegetable peeler. This soap is going to discolor a little bit. So far it's about a medium tan. If you'd like a sample of this soap, you can get one free with your order at Micah's and More while supplies last. I hope you enjoyed the video. To save on soap supplies, you can order online anytime at micasandmore.com. And I'd like it if you'd share what you make with my products in my Facebook group, Steph's Micas and More. Thanks for watching.